Yo, hi guys. So, today is Thursday the 13th of August. All of my candles are ready for testing in terms of hot throw, um, how the wick and the wax perform. Um, I've got them all in this table here. So what I'm gonna do is yesterday, because I, sorry, I'm doing word vomit right now. So, because I haven't finalized the fragrances yet, I don't want to buy labels for them because it's not like I can buy a sheet. So, what I'm doing is I'm just using these makeshift labels that I've created myself and cut out. And what I want to do now is stick them on. I bought some PVA, clear PVA glue to use, and on some of them it's worked fine, but on others it hasn't. And I also bought some double-sided tape for that. So I'm going to just finish sticking them on now. Julia helped me a lot and that's really helpful for her. Let me just show you. This, oh my god, the hot throw on this. This is ama amazing. Oh, I can't wait to, in fact, this is the one I'm going to test. What I want to do today is, I want to order my materials that I need. So I said yesterday I needed containers because these are all run out. Wicks and fragrance oils new fragrance oils from candle shack because I've, this fragrance is from candle shack and it's extremely strong all the ones from candle shack are very strong the ones from i think it's white rose essential oils just they just seem to be very mellow and that's not really what i'm going for so that's just not going to work for me um and it's a bit disappointing because they had a lot more variety and quite interesting scents but it's just not working for me what did i say i wanted to do oh order more supplies one and two i need to order some stickers and that kind of stuff because i just feel like i'm delaying too much so yeah, let me show you what i did yesterday where is it so what i did was like i said i'd ordered the avery sticker paper and i did a trial run and i just printed off my logo onto the sheet of paper like that and then i kind of just oh somebody's creased up my stickers that's really annoying anyway um and then I just put it over the top of the sticker paper to see if it roughly looked like it lined up, and it did. So I printed one sheet off, and this is what my stickers look like. They look really nice, but again, I don't think I'm going to print from home again, because I want it to just be like nice and glossy with maybe some gold foil, on the, or just foil in general, like for the actual logo part, and then the rest is glossy, something like that because I just feel like that will add a bit more professionalism and luxury to it and that's what I'm going for, luxury. I'm also going to look at the box, packaging box that I have and decide the placement of different stickers and then order those as well because I'm just tired of constantly waiting on things. I just want to get things done because it's getting to Monday where I need to set up the Shopify and the Instagram and I feel like I'd be a lot less anxious if by then I'm like I've got my products, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's where I'm at today. Because you're not dance captain material. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a little unboxing haul thing. These came today. These are my packaging boxes. So I just make them up myself. You see the magnetic fastenings there. I'll just make these up as I go rather than, you know, because otherwise they'll take up space. And then I have this other one. These should be my shipping boxes. Okay, guys, I'm not going to take it out, but you can see very tightly packed. Yeah, those are going to be my shipping boxes. My shipping boxes are also white, which I really like because it just keeps it all very clean. Um... I think I'm going to stamp my logo around the box. I don't know. I'll have to see. But um, I feel like that will just it will just add to the experience. I haven't got my tissue paper yet. I haven't got my logo stamp yet. So I need to wait for those to come for the packaging side of stuff to be a bit more complete. But yeah. Hi guys. just thought I'd update you. And um, I just want you to understand why it's taken me so long to launch this business, right? So I came upstairs and I thought... Like I said earlier, I'm deciding to order labels from like a proper, like a company rather than doing them myself because they're just, the, it's nice, but the quality, like the quality isn't what I want it to be and I want it to be glossy and I can't do that myself. So I went on the Avery web, first of all, I was searching and searching because I wanted to get like some gold foil 
um, on my stickers and I couldn't really find a place that did just because my logo white background black writing with some gold elements and I just wanted gold foil for the gold elements and everything else normal and then glossy but I couldn't find that so I it took me hours to decide to okay let me just go on Avery and just get normal glossy stickers and then it's literally taken me Julia how long do you think it's been two hours yeah wait mom came home around nine, nine. Two hours. It's taken me two hours to to edit the picture enough so that the resolution is high enough and upload to Avery because I want. Do you know? Do you see what I mean by analysis paralysis? Like small things are not really that important in the grand scheme of things. I've spent two hours more than that though because including the time of me looking at other websites, probably two and a half to three hours doing just that. That you see what, what my problem is now. Anyway, um, I'm literally about to press order. Next time you see my face, I'm about to tell you I've ordered my logo stickers. So wish me luck. Well, let's see if I can do it in the next 10 minutes. Hi guys. So it's about time I sat down and had a chat. Okay, I don't know why I'm making it sound bedroom. dramatic. Basically, today's the 29th of August. Um, as you'll know, I should have launched by now um according to my whole plan that i did but i ran into some issues so what happened was i finished my testing that day and i worked out that i needed to order some more supplies so obviously fragrance oils um i decided which ones i was going to use and then i wanted to order two more i think um to use for the final four and then my containers had run out so obviously I knew I had to order like a lot more of those. And I went to order my containers and everything else. Everything else was fine, but the containers were out of stock. So I thought, okay, no big deal. They'll come back into stock soon. A week goes by, they're still not in stock. I email the supplier. Um, I message them on their like web um, chat on their website and everything. Uh, they didn't reply for a while. I joined their Facebook group. And I messaged them there and they replied saying that basically there's loads of supply issues at the moment and this is like in general across a lot of different supplier websites there's a lot of issues with sourcing containers especially I don't really know why but to this day there are no containers so what I decided like literally last night was that I'm gonna get my containers elsewhere oh I haven't been able to find containers the same container anywhere like even on AliExpress and stuff, even though I've already established that that's not really possible anyway. So I saw these um, containers on a website and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna have to go with them because they're the best I've seen. They're not the same size, they're slightly smaller, but these ones come with a lid, which is great because I was thinking I'm gonna have to do something about a lid and that does it, um, eliminate that. But the only thing that was stopping me was one, obviously I don't know what it looks like, Two, I've already ordered packaging boxes and with the lid I worked out that the the candle with the lid will not fit in the box. So what I'm just going to have to do is just wrap the candle separately and put it in the packaging. Just make it nice basically. Um, but yeah, so I had to work. I've sorted that out and I've ordered them finally. I ordered 24. So they will be on their way soon hopefully. Um, I'm now ordering my fragrance oils in my bigger sizes and now I'm working out because now I've been delayed so much and in terms of timing with my Christmas slash holiday collection I'm gonna have to start working on that like as soon as possible because obviously I've been delayed so much like I should have launched by now and then it would have given me a good like month and a bit or something before I launched the holiday slash Christmas collection but there's nothing I can do so I'm gonna order some fragrance oils that I think sound great for Christmas slash holiday and I can start testing them after I have um, launched or after I've made my candles up like for my um, stock um, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that have happened or like I've ordered stuff and I just haven't let you know but I can't really remember um, so right now, I think what I am going to do is 
I'm going to order my CLP labels. Um, and I also want to order... I found a website in the, from the UK. I actually found them on Instagram and I went to their website. And they do customised tissue paper for a really reasonable price. So I think I'm going to get that. But then I'm also going to... Either the stamp that I wanted to initially stamp on the tissue paper. I think I'll just use that for the outer packaging instead. So, yeah. that That's not really that big a deal. But yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. I don't know when I'm going to launch. And at this point, I think what I'm going to do is just launch and just make it available for pre-order. Um, for as long as it needs to be. Because it is what it is at this point. But yeah, I'm really tired, as you can see. Which is why I'm like, yeah. Whatever is going to happen, will happen. Everything happens in its own time. And there's a reason that I don't know that God knows as to why I haven't been able to launch. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. Hi guys, okay, so it's been a couple of days. Hey guys, so my lids came like this, um, individually wrapped. Sorry, ignore my hands as well, they're really dry because I just washed them and I don't have hand cream. Anyway, yeah, so this is the jar that I've decided to go with. They have lids and the, uh, this jar is just such good quality, like this embodies, sorry, if you're looking at my face, I have a pimple patch on, that's what's in the corner. Um, this just embodies what i'm going for with my brand so i'm going for luxury very clean um expensive classy do you know what i mean and oh, i've just got fingerprints all over it oh dear um and this is what i'm going for so you can see it is smaller it is smaller this is 27 centimeters this is 20 um but this comes with a lid and the lid is such good quality like it's got that silicone seal around it like oh no we got one properly you know when you do you know what i mean like it's a proper good lid so this is it and can you imagine this with my label on it um and everything and i'm just really 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 excited but now i have to work out i have to work out um how much wax I can put in there and then I have to do the fragrance oil percentage and all of that but obviously that's not a big deal I can it's not that deep um oh and let me show you the order I got as well my fragrance oil so I got I got 350 mils because I just wanted to test these scents because they sounded really interesting and yeah and then I got four 100 mils of my final scents that I'm going to be using for my line. Um, the four scents I'm going to start off with. And then I also ordered wicks, new wicks, because obviously this is a new jar size, so I have to change the wick. I'm going to have to just test it out gradually because obviously I um, don't know if it's going to work. Like I'm really excited and I'm literally itching to make a whole batch of like all of the candles but i can't do that because if the wick's not right then i've wasted 48 vessels loads of wax do you know what i mean so i'm just going to start off with one um test it let it cure and then burn it and see how it burns and then if it's good i'm good to go if not then obviously back to the drawing board all the new wicks and start again but as you can see like i just feel like every time i make progress is two steps back but I just need to keep powering through because I want to launch as soon as possible and I'm tired like it's been I was meant to launch ages ago but at this point it doesn't matter because obviously things happen and I just have to deal with it and keep it stepping but um I just wanted to show you this stuff because I was really excited but I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna start making or well, I'm gonna make this candle and then work on other stuff I have other stuff to show you as well in terms of my stickers that I ordered the other day I'll just show you later let me eat first okay guys so as I was saying earlier I was gonna tell you about stuff that's been going on recently so um, a couple of days ago I ordered my scent labels so I had ordered la the labels and then they got back to me saying that no so in the email they said you should print out the proof they sent me the proof and they said you should print out the proof on A4 to see the quality and everything so I printed it out and it was illegible so I emailed them back basically saying what should I, what should I do um, and then I also tried to increase the quality and sent them a new the new labels so they replied to me saying that they will be clear but obviously the text will be really small which is what i expect because it's literally on an eight by three centimeter sticker so of course it's going to be quite small 
um but i got a shipping confirmation to say that they will be here on monday so that's good and then i also ordered clp labels and um some gold foil logo stickers again with the logo i'd sent her the file in black and white and then she got back to me and said that that was blurry and she suggested getting doing something else so i increased the quality again and sent it to her what i don't get is why i'm not doing it making sure that the quality is good straight away but i think it's because i'm on a computer and i think on the computer it looks fine so even when i clicked on the logo that was attached i clicked on it and it was fine but i think it's because the resolution was low so yeah anyway i haven't had an email confirmation from her but hopefully that will be on its way early next week as well right now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take one of my jars one uh wick and make a candle so that i can test it out as soon as possible which will help me decide whether or not i'm gonna stick with these wicks or if i'm gonna get something else just my luck so i went on the website where i got my new vessels from tell me why it says i'll stock until late november i'm actually fed up but i'm just gonna not even think about it because it's actually really upsetting me okay guys i just wanted to show you i got my scent labels this is what they look like um they're not as clear as i wanted them to be but i'm happy with them and i'm planning on sticking them on my let me just show you i'm planning on sticking them on my boxes like this so it will just be on the front part um these holes will not be there on my actual boxes this is just the box that came with the ribbon but yeah um and then just to give you an update i'm not going to flip the camera because i can't be asked just to give you an update on my candle how it went so i tested it yesterday i probably should have let it cool for a bit longer but basically um it's over wicked so i'm i've ordered new wicks to try them with hi guys okay so today it's thursday the 10th of september i had my last work shift yesterday which means from here on out is go 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 um so what i've done today is i've made four candles with my final scents um um what i did was i, I don't know if i've said this already like i said because i'm i've been filming like this over for how many weeks now i don't know what i filmed and what i haven't filmed um <laughs> So the other day I tried a V10 wick in my candle when I used my Velvet Peony and Oud fragrance oil and in terms of the wick itself like the melt pool how quickly it burns and all that it's perfect well not perfect but it's nice like that's that I would go with for that but the hot throw is very weak so I've amended the way I've like the temperatures that I pour and add fragrance on all that because hopefully that will help and then I've made up my four final candles, so that's Black Orchid, Damson Plum Rose and Patchouli, Arabian Nights and Velvet Peony and Oud. Aside from that, there's some stuff that have come in the post. I'll show you everything that I've got, but not right now because we're rushing. That's why I'm rapping right now and Anissa's running down the stairs because we've got netball and we're late. And the bus is coming very soon, so yeah, I'll show you everything later when I get back. The last couple of days has just been very hectic because I finally moved into my house in uni. And I've been trying to pattern stuff like sort out the actual house my room filming i've been filming so much like i just there's just been a lot going on and i have been putting on my to-do list film update film update film update but i keep putting it off so finally i decided because i just filmed another video the camera's out i've sat down let me just do it right now before i forget so what was the last thing i can't see this is the thing because i keep leaving time between each update i keep forgetting what i've already done what i can remember firstly so i moved obviously to uni i don't have a hot plate for myself that hot plate is at home i decided rather than buying another hot plate i would buy the buffalo soup maker so like it says in the name soup maker it has a thing inside i haven't actually the box is over there i haven't actually opened it to see what it looks like and whether it has like a bowl inside with and then water goes on like is heated around it or whether I put the wax straight into it but that's what I'm going to be using to make my candles I need to practice and see how it comes out how it works and stuff before I make my first batch but I need to do that ASAP and I can finally do it and stuff because yesterday no two days ago was it yesterday I don't know my product stickers came and I'm very very happy so that's what they look like 
the gold board is bigger than I wanted, but when I actually stuck it onto one of the candles, let me show you actually on this one. So this was the sticker. Um, I changed, oh yeah, I changed the sticker. That's one of the things, sorry, it's not focusing on the candle. So that's what the sticker look like, looks like. I changed it and I printed it out and it comes out really clear and beautiful. It just looks really elegant to me. And I think it looks nice, like with the lid and everything on it, I really like it. Um, but the actual sticker came and it looks like this. It's not as long, um, but it's really beautiful. I'm just gonna stick it on here so that you can see. Now that my stickers are here, I can finally take my product photos, which I'm really excited about. But obviously, I can't do that until I've actually made the candles. So I need to get a move on and do it. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna bulk make a batch tomorrow. The later I leave it, the more stressed I'm gonna be. And I'm gonna have to, I can't be leaving my potential customers hanging. You know what I mean? So that's the sticker. Doesn't that look so beautiful? And then that's the old sticker. So I do like the length of the old sticker and like how the gold is minimal, but I also do really like how the gold is big on the um, new one. In fact, the length is exactly the same. It's because the gold part is thicker, it makes it look like it's, the stickers itself is shorter, but it's exactly the same. <sighs> so beautiful. So those are the two updates. I had for me literally those two updates and it's taken me days to sit down and do it I don't know why it was making me so anxious but it was but at least I've done it now and I can tick, tick it off my to-do list and move on um yes tomorrow tomorrow I'm staying in my focus is going to be on my candles um and creating content that's it because it's stressing me out now so I need to get a move on oh god geez okay so I updated you yesterday about my new soup kettle and my new labels, right? Yeah, so I just filmed my manifestation video for my for the business. And the last point was that I wanted to just put like, if I'm worried, if I'm like concerned, or if I'm like, oh, this is a good idea, should I do it? Go to God and pray about it. And then I gave the example of, you know, how my, my vessels were out of stock and I had to change and get the new vessels and then I was really, really happy with them and then they went out of stock. So I was telling that story, right? Tell me why I went on one website and it was still out of stock and I was like, oh, see, like it's still out of stock, but it's fine, I'll leave it to God. It will happen when it will happen. And then I searched the other website and they were in stock. I said, I was, do you know how happy I am? So I ordered 36, um, that cost me about 80 something pounds, did it? Yes it did. Um, and I just closed my eyes and ordered it because I didn't want to like, agonize over like how much it costs and how many should I get? And then before I know it, it's gone out of stock now. So I just ordered 36, so I definitely have enough, in my opinion. Um, and I'm just really, really happy and now I feel really motivated and I just want to make a batch right now. Um, so I'm just going to do some tidying up, clear up downstairs, and then make a batch. Hi guys, so I'm about to finally make a batch. Okay, the other day actually, the footage that you saw was me making, I made four of the black orchid scent but i didn't make any more because i'd run out of wicks so i made a big order um of wicks some wax and fragrance oils and they've come and i've got time now so i'm just heating up the wax now in the buffalo this wax has been solidified and in there since i made it last since i made the other four sorry so i'm just it's heating up right now it's a bit warm but um I'm just waiting for that to melt a bit more and then I'm gonna add more wax into it. And then I'm gonna make four candles for each scent and I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I'm almost at the end now, like so close. And I just want it done. Like I want it done by the end of this week because next week we start um, our placement and we're not gonna have time said we i'm not gonna have time to be doing this like in the evenings and stuff because i finish up i don't know what time i'm gonna finish at yeah so i need to be up and running by the end of this week and i will be inshallah i just need to get on with it 
Yeah, um, let me show you what I've got actually. Okay guys, so I just went to get scissors to open these packages. I'll start with the small one. One thing I like is that all of the packages come with this, um, a lot of, like they come very well wrapped and a lot of bubble wrap, which is good because then I can reuse them. How many wicks did I order? I swear I ordered more than that. Let me just check. Oh, it could be in the other pack, to be fair. I got 100, I got two 50 packs. And they've given me two pack of tens. I'm gonna assume that the rest is in here. I'm, just, I'm waiting for eight more of these. Basically. Anyway, um, so for each fragrance oil, I got 200 grams for each. So Arabian Nights, Velvet Peony and Oud, Black Orchid, and then Damp Sun Palm Rose and Patchouli, Tomo's favorite one. And then I got, um, did I get two of these? Yeah, I got two slabs of 4.8 kg wax. Usually I get the, um, what's the, what's the weight of it? I think it's only one kg, but I'll get maybe five or so. But this time I just thought, let me just get a slab rather than get it in the boxes. But I have my wicks in it. I'm sure it, it does. What more is in this box? Like I didn't order that much. Oh, wait, hold on. Something's not right. Something's not right. They have not packed my wicks. And I'm very confused. This is not, this is not, this box is for my um, jars. So they're missing it out. And that's really annoying me now. I got two packs of 50, so why are they giving me two packs of 10? Don't piss me off. Do not piss me off. Okay, I sent off an email to the customer service so that they can send me my wicks as soon as possible. So that's fine. Um, this box is full of my jars, my 20 centiliter jars, that's it, and yeah, everything in this box is just jars, so that's fine, I'm now going to go and check on my wax and see how much it's melted, and aside from that, just start getting ready to make some candles. Okay guys, this is currently the set up, I've got my four pre mains already there. I've put my vessels here. I just need to get one more. Um, yeah. And I've got all of this. My wax is finally melted. I need to add more wax. Um, I've got them here. I'm just going to start now because I need to get on with it. The time is 10.13. So I need to pattern up and get this done quickly. Hi, so while I'm waiting around, let me just update you. Actually, no, wait, let me pour this one first. You can watch me pour it, in fact. Okay, as I was saying earlier, let me update you on what's happening. So, first thing I do is I scoop this out. No, let me, let me, I capped. So this is usually empty and it'll be on here because I'm trying to warm it up. Then once it's warm enough, I will move, okay, that's moving. The temperature's getting hot very quickly, so let me wrap it up. I'll move it to my scale, then I'll switch it on. Then I'll scoop out 130 grams. Then I will move it back over here Put it on the stove, put the thermometer in so that it can heat up to 70 degrees. That's what I'm waiting for this one to heat up to right now. Then whilst it's heating up, I get my little cup, put it on this scale, weigh out my fragrance oil, 13 grams. Then I come back over here and once it gets to 70, I pour the fragrance oil into it. I need to pour, measure that one out. I pour it into it, this is 70 now, and then I stir it for two minutes. And then after, while, no, after I stirred it, I take the warm container out, put it here, stick the wick on, put the wick holder on, and pour. Finally finished, the time is 3.12. So, here's my batch. A couple of days ago, like I showed you, and then this row, this row, and this row, I made today. Um, I'm really happy. 
obviously some of these aren't cored properly yet but um tomorrow i'm going to heat gun them because as you can see there are some irregularities and then i'm going to put i'm going to package them up <clears throat> and i'm also going to take for one of each scent and take some product pictures finally so i can finalize the website um and post on instagram and stuff basically i'm really really nearly finished i'm so happy that this is my stock so i'm starting off with four eight or sixteen candles yeah i'm really happy hi guys okay so my candles are here it's, been, it's the next day so they've had overnight to settle or whatever what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my heat gun and I'm gonna heat gun the tops just to make them smooth. I'm gonna take off the wick holders and I'm gonna trim the wicks. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I have decided, I think I might make a separate studio vlog. Yeah, so maybe I'll just only do snippets for this video but I'll have a separate studio vlog to show my whole process. Uh, but yeah, exciting, very exciting. Hold on, see you tomorrow, guys. Hi, hey guys. <laughs> so, right now, I'm in the middle of filming my product pictures. I wanted to do it in natural light, but I've been out all day and the sun just sets very quickly and stuff and I had a lecture so it's not like I could have oh it's not like I could have started earlier so yeah that's what I'm doing right now so right now what I'm gonna do is one of the pictures I want to take is with the um, inner packaging box so what I'm gonna do is make up four of them for my four different scents and then I can take my product pictures with that the rest of them I will make up when I have time So the box is done. So the first thing I did was make up the box and I stuck on my logo sticker and the uh, name of the scent and then the ribbon. So, so now I can continue taking my product pictures. Okay, you can't really see me properly because it's a bit dark. But um, hi, it's the next day. I decided yesterday that I was going to wait for natural light to take some pictures. So that is currently my setup. I've taken a couple. Let me show you. yeah um and i'm really liking how it turned out i feel really optimistic uh i've got to take pictures of one, one more candle that's just on the sofa with this backdrop and then i'm going to switch it up um i'm feeling really good i was out there like setting up the stuff and my well there was a man next door and he said that he was um his uncle had passed away he used to live in the house and he was coming to like move some of his stuff out we were just having a really nice chat and stuff and like he asked me what i was doing and stuff like as a student am i a student and blah 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 and i said yeah i was doing medicine and he gave me this book from his uncle and it's the first edition of this was published in 1912 and it's like i don't know why it's making me really upset isn't that amazing? And it's got people's writing in it from Cardiff, 1919, Mabel Bowyer, Bristol, 1930. 
It just made me really happy. Anyway, back to candle making. Okay guys, I finished my photo shoot and now I'm about to start packing everything up. Hey guys, so I'm done. I don't have any more boxes, so these lot are gonna just stay lonely until I get some more. Sorry, that's the washing machine, it's really loud. Um, I'm starving, my belly's literally inside out, so I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna continue. Okay, so I've put the padding into each box. Next thing I'm gonna do now is just place each box into the outer packaging box and I'm gonna start making up the organza bags. Okay guys, and I'm done. I'm finished. Complete. Finally here. Um, all I have left to do is the website and I'm ready to go. And I'm very, very happy. Okay guys, so I just ran in. I'm literally about to disable my password. God, this is so scary. Okay, let me go on Instagram now. Let's just go to the shop. There's going to be a and snacks. Where do you want to go to the shop? Um... I don't know. Big Tesco. Hi oh, guys, so I've launched now. Ah! 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 <coughs> yeah, um, is it? So, are you in it? Me? No. Why is it nice? Which Tesco is it? What? Oh, sorry. Oh my days, it's tough for a lot. It's around here. Yeah. We're going so, to round here. Ah! Oh! Guys, Alice was my first order and I started crying. Isn't that so pathetic? Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, I have four orders, I'm really happy. Within 30 minutes. Isn't it? Ooh! But, there's a glitch. The shipping is not meant to be free, but we're gonna pretend that it is. But the shipping is not meant to be free, unless, um, apart from if it's over 30 pounds. So I don't know what happened. Why is that? I think it's so small. Uh -huh. Am I not? Wait, Nash, do I actually have to wait for, um... Shipping? Of course not! Of course How does that not! Work? I don't think I'm going to have to wait two to three days! Imagine, Tom, me and Tom are here, yeah? my room is here, her room is there. Imagine her having to wait two to three days for shipping. Wouldn't that be a sad story? Do you know what? I actually wouldn't care. I want to question it. I see she's getting the order ready, innit? <laughs> no. Let's <laughs> not go and get myself some bubbly. Okay, guys, so I'm here. I'm going to go and get myself some bubbly. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and get myself some bubbly. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish the video here because I realized when I was editing that I didn't actually finish the video but I'm gonna finish it here I have finally launched I just went to the post office like half an hour ago to send off my first couple of orders and I'm really really happy and I can't believe I'm finally here but I'm sick of filming this video I've literally been filming it for over a month now so if you got this far I love you thank you very 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 much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one bye